Hey, honey! Check it out. Paradox wants to sponsor me to do a Crusader Kings 3 video. I just got the game. Oh, you were really excited about that, weren't you? Oh, yeah. So, I guess I'm not gonna see you for a few days. Probably. Okay, well, try not to go too overboard this time. Too late. Provis is no more. I am King Alfonso VI of Leon, soon to be the father of all Spain. I am one of three sons of King Ferdinand I. And wait, what is that? No, 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 that, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. Fix that. There we go. Much better. Okay. And as such, I am the inheritor of one of three kingdoms that were passed down by my father upon his death. My elder brother, Sancho II, always the bravest and brawniest of us, received the Kingdom of Castile. My younger brother, Garcia, weak, frail, and zealous in his faith in God, received the Kingdoms of Galicia and Portugal. I, Alfonso, the most cunning of the three, and my father's personal favorite, received his primary title, the rich and lush lands of Leon. But I am an ambitious man and not content to rule only one-third of my father's holdings. No, Castile and Galicia must be mine so that I can reunite the thrones under one crown. If, by some tragic act of God, both of my brothers were to die, then I would be the only sole inheritor of both kingdoms. Unfortunately, this fact has not escaped the notice of my brothers, and both are preparing for war. Sancho is the strongest of the three of us, and the better tactician by far. A war against him would be costly, and there is no guarantee that I would emerge the victor. But one dagger in the night may accomplish what a thousand swords cannot in the battlefield. It so happens I am well versed in the skills of intrigue, navigating plots and schemes and subversions, and using secrets to my advantage. I must hone these skills to become sharper than a blade, and therefore I rededicate my efforts to the study of skullduggery. Skullduggery, skullduggery. Underhanded or unscrupulous behavior. Trickery. Yeah, that sounds about right. First things first, I must wed so that I may produce a legitimate heir and not fall prey to the exact scheme I plan on wreaking upon my brothers. Ah, Constance de Bourgonnais. She has a reputation for being vengeful and arrogant, but she would serve well in this role and secure a valuable alliance with the Duke of Bourgogne. And so I become a married man. Queen Constance has a sharp wit and an ambition to match my own, so she shall assist me in my schemes, right alongside my sister Infanta Urica, who is too cunning by far and all too willing to assist me in my plans to dispatch of both of my brothers. I think it'll make for a good bonding experience. Nothing brings blood closer together than a little fratricide. With my realm managed and my internal affairs in order, I start to scheme to murder King Sancho of Castile. To accomplish this task, I shall require gold to buy agents close to my brother. Fortunately, I am newly wed and therefore have a wonderful excuse to pass a royal aid duty to my citizens. <laughs> money, money, money. Why, Count Pedro, you would like a bribe to murder your king? Absolutely. For some reason, I feel a lot more confident about my chances. Wonder why. But I must not get overly confident. It's entirely possible I will need to utilize secrets and blackmail to recruit additional agents in my plot. Now let's see, I do have a running tally of all known secrets. Uh, whoa, my sister is... my lover? I see no problem with this. Right, well, uh, all of a sudden, this relationship just got a little awkward. Of course, on the plus side, this means that she will be wrapped around my little finger. So, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not gonna do anything nasty to me anytime soon. Speaking of brothers, I've received a missive from Sancho. He wants to formalize an alliance between our kingdoms and go betray Garcia to conquer Galicia. Fascinating. I don't think so. After all, that alliance will be null and void when I murder my brother. Speaking of which, one of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in King Sancho's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead, and he will be as good as dead the moment the spider strikes. I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Sancho. 
<laughs> Success! King Sancho is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to me. So long, brother! Thanks for keeping my crown warm! And as the eldest remaining son of Ferdinand, I am the legal heir of my brother Garcia, which means we must murder him too. This should be easy. My brother is a trusting fool and puts his faith entirely in God's hands, leaving him quite vulnerable to mine. In fact, one of my agents has suggested we recycle the spider for a second use. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke. <laughs> Another brother falls to the same spider. Oh, I am, I am never letting spiders near me. Not a chance. But now I am the sole remaining son of Ferdinand I, and the kingdoms of Galicia, Castile, and Leon are all united. Does this make me a triple king? I think it does. Well, that went significantly faster than I expected. Only two years to reunite the thrones. Now, we could simply declare the Kingdom of Spain, but there is one more throne in the family that I would like to include in my new kingdom. You see, I have a cousin, King Unso IV of Navarra, and technically I hold a legal claim upon his titles. Alas, because he is not a direct relative, a mere spider will not conquer the kingdom for me. I shall have to fight him on the battlefield, but he is also allied to my own father-in-law in, in Bourgogne, as well as the King of France. My new kingdom is large and expensive, yes, but not nearly strong enough to fight the Kingdom of France. Not yet. But not all hope is lost. The alliance between Navarra and France hinges on King Anso. If he were to die in tragic and mysterious circumstances, then the Alliance would be null and void, leaving them vulnerable to my attack. Yes, I do think one more murder would suit my purposes nicely. Speaking of purposes, my wife, Constance, why have you not produced an heir for me yet? Is it because you're not entirely thrilled with me? That might be the case. Very well, I shall woo you until you are prepared to make me a baby. I have the strange sensation that I have become more experienced in the ways of intrigue. Probably due to all the murder. Hmm. Well, maybe I should just become more effective at murder. Ah, here comes an opportunity to test these new skills. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way, the poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to King Anso alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appétit, Anso. Oh, he ate that duck with gusto. It was the last thing he ever ate. And even better, in his death throes, a bone got stuck in King Anso's throat. Now it is unclear exactly what killed him at all. Oh, it must have been something he ate. Now my other cousin, Queen Uruka, sits on the throne of Navarra, but she is weak and has not yet solidified her rule, which means this is the perfect time to declare a war for the throne. All right, men, we're off to war. And I expect each and every one of you to willingly lay down your life for my personal gain. Charge! Oh, my cousin has decided to lead the battle herself. Very brave. And also foolish. You'll never catch me doing that. It would put me into way too much danger. And she's been captured. You've learned a harsh lesson today, Uruka. But don't feel too bad. You were able to rule Navarra for over two months. That's not too bad. But of course, now the kingdom shall be mine. Well, that was a splendid little war. I wonder if I could use my newfound military prowess to conquer more kingdoms before I unite Spain. It's times like these where you wish there were some nice, juicy infidels to pluck. Hey, look! Juicy infidels! Perfect! I can use a holy war to conquer some territory. See, I knew this whole god thing would finally work out to my advantage. Wait, what do you mean I'm not pious enough? People upstairs been keeping track? Uh-oh. Fine, whatever. I don't want the app to sit land anyway. Let's just unite the kingdom. Once more, the thrones of Spain has been united under one king. The false monarchs have been decrowned, while proud Leon stands stronger than ever. One day I shall pass from this world and go to heaven, yet my legacy will remain on earth forever. They will call me King Alfonso, 
the father of Spain. Well, I suppose I should get down to managing the kingdom and building up the army. Some new men-at-arms would be worthwhile, I think. Some caballeros, perhaps. And of course, we will want to deal with any uppity counts who would dare to challenge me. And it turns out there actually are a few disgruntled vassals who would dare to form a faction against me. How dare they? Well, I'm sure it won't become a problem. In fact, things keep getting better and better. My wife is now bearing a child. Yes, I am so excited, as long as it's a boy. Many months later, my first son is born. I shall name him Fernando after my father. Even better than the birth of my son, my archbishop has managed to fabricate a claim not only on the county of Lisboa, but the entire duchy of Beja. See? Who needs God when I have dubious legal claims I can press? Oh, curses! In my moment of distraction, I wasn't paying attention to my vassals, and they dare to demand liberty. Pedro, my first agent in my ascent to glory, how could you betray me like this? I suppose you leave me no choice but to accept your demands. But I shall never forget, and I never forgive. Sleep well, Pedro. I'll see you in hell. My war ends with great success. I add the Duchy of Beja to the Kingdom of Leon. Unfortunately, though there are many more infidels to slay, these legal wars are expensive. It might be better to simply go on a pilgrimage, dedicate myself to the church, and be granted the authority to declare holy wars. For the glory of God, or something like that. Ugh, some of these trips are so long and expensive. I can't afford to go to Jerusalem. Is there anything closer by? Well, I suppose there is Santiago. That's practically next door. All right, that'll do. All right, honey, I'm going on a pilgrimage now. Just try not to burn the kingdom down while I'm gone. Even on pilgrimage, the priests will hold mass on every Sunday. And on one such Sunday, a storm rolled in, and the rains poured down from the heavens. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain and giving a sermon. Well, the whole point of this trip is to be seen doing good things, at least pretending to care about God. Ah, what's a little bit of rain? I'm sure I can handle it. Ugh, I think I've made a horrible mistake. My body feels horrible. Somebody find a physician. You'll do. Ugh, Judith brings me a concoction of buckthorn and senna. First I thought it wasn't gonna work, but then I felt it churning my bowels something awful. It was terrible. Oh, oh God. Are you okay? No! I do feel a little bit better, though. Well, I'm finally here in Santiago, and the bishop offers me blessings to reflect on everything that had to happen. Getting me sick, apparently. Also, a whole lot of walking. What a waste of a trip. All I can say, God, is you'd better appreciate this. What, in the nine circles of hell? I come back from my pilgrimage to find a man is climbing up my wall, wanting to seduce my own mother! How dare you! A little old-fashioned murder should be enough to bring back my old vigor. And in fact, it works! I'm feeling a lot better! In fact, I'm feeling well enough to revoke some titles from my new infidel vassals. Silly children, counties are for Catholics. <laughs> Die, infidels! Die! Die! Oh, Count Ramiro, you want to celebrate the removal of the heretics, hmm? Very well, I suppose I shall go to a feast. Oh, yeah, man, I am totally sleeping with my sister. Just can't seem to put her down. Can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta put this down. All right, I'll admit I may have had a little bit too much to drink last night. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Oh, what's this? The King of Aragon is being attacked by infidels? Hmm. This is a fantastic opportunity to seize the throne for myself. Very well. I shall be forced to declare war upon Aragon and take their lands for myself. To make sure the lands stay Christian, of course. Of course, now I have to defend those lands against the infidel. A little costly, but I think I can absorb that. Oh good, my wife gave birth to a second son! I didn't even realize you were pregnant! We shall name you little Ordoño. Ha <laughs> ha! The infidel proves they are no match for the strong steel of Leon. Not only have I secured my dynasty, but I have secured the kingdom of Leon as well. Soon the entire Iberian Peninsula shall be mine. And if not mine, then surely my son, who is looking extremely devious, I must say. Fernando, do you know how to blink? Blink, child. 
Blink, for the love of God, blink! Well, that was a tremendously fun little session. Crusader Kings 3 is coming out very soon, ladies and gentlemen. I do recommend that you take a look at that link in the description down below. I look forward to playing a lot more of this going forward. Though perhaps not quite as elaborative and LARPy as it is today. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this very special video sponsored by Paradox. If so, then I would humbly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and see what it is.